her journey as well. I hate that she says that now. I, 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 the Zoom ladies now says that the meeting is going to be recorded. But anyways, uh, we'll get started in just a couple minutes here. Good to see you. Hair game on point, Jason. Loving it, bro. Like, all right, what is there going to be a time that you cut it or are you just going to grow it like Eric's? I don't know, dude. I want to cut it every single day. Dude, I, I remember back in the days, yes, I did have hair. I remember it starting out of Jason's face where I could just put it into a ponytail. And this was back in the days where you'd shave all around and then you'd like just have, have that there. Mm -hmm. I, I grew wow. my hair out to my belly button. I was only going to grow it for a little bit, but I, I grew it out to my belly button, man. And so uh, it's looking King good, though, style. bro. What's that? Kang style. <laughs> you got any uh, pictures, Elias? Um, you know what? I got to find them. But yeah, man, it was as long as yours, JJ. It was as long as Eric's and this big old flowy hair. And then, um, yeah, around 29. I had cut it. Yeah, man, so is, so is, so is. I know. I don't I don't have a picture. I got to find it. But uh, yeah, man, when I was 29, well, when I was 19, I cut it for business. I cut my ponytail off and then went like short. And then when I was 29, I started like, you could see my scalp and you could see like this baloney patch. So then I was just like, all right, I'm done. Shaving my head for the rest of my life. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll get started in one minute. We have 64 people in the room. So we will get started in just one minute. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Marnique, how's that baby? She's good. She's right here. <laughs> always next to me <laughs> there's there's rarely a meeting that we have or a coaching session that the baby is not right there and then every time we ask martinique to talk guess he wants to chime in right guess he wants to chime in so um all right you guys it is officially that time welcome good morning good to see everybody hopefully everybody had a fun relaxing weekend i know some of you were out of the area on vacation some of you were across the ocean in hawaii so uh welcome back so let's get right into our guest of the day kenny i know that we have some guests on the line today i see some familiar faces and some unfamiliar faces so uh kenny let's do some quick introductions on who we have on today yeah i'm just gonna intro the, uh, to freddie uh freddie on your line so, yeah, yeah. So, Freddy well, Sanchez, what's up, buddy? Welcome, brother. How are you? Thank you. Good to yourself? I'm well. I'm well, my man. So introduce yourself. My name is Freddy Sanchez. I'm currently with Realty One, but I'll be coming fast to Team Fast. Yeah. Woo! Hold on, Freddy. Are you coming with the red suit, brother? You know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> That's right, brother. Uh, Freddy's been a player in the game for a while. How long have you been in the game, Freddy? Since 2007. 2007. Awesome, man. Well, we're looking forward to having you over here on this side and supporting your journey. So thanks for being here, my man. All right. Um, thank who you. else do we have? Kenny? I see uh, Donna have Otis on the call. So Otis, your, your phone sideways. Your, your phone sideways, Otis, but what's happening? There he is. There he is. I have my laptop, but somehow I don't have the nearest version, so I had to back out so I can get on my phone so I can hear you guys. It's all good, my man. So quick introduction and tell us how we know you. Uh, my name is Otis White. I'm born and raised in San Francisco. Uh, lived all over the Bay Area. Currently live in American Canyon. Uh, I was referred by Donna. Uh, I just got my license a week and a half ago. So uh -huh. I've been uh, just testing the waters. And uh, she introduced me about a week ago to herself. You know, a mutual friend uh, from where I come from, my background in production and, uh, you know, radio, celebrity interviews. Uh, all type of journalism and stuff like that. Uh, she mentioned that you yourself had a, a tie into the industry yourself, you know, back in the day before getting into the game. So uh, making that leap here because I know uh, this kind of this business, this trade was made for me. So love the diversity. Uh, randomly clicked on some videos and seen 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 the man himself, you know, so uh, just kind of a bunch of things coming together. Uh, just vibing out with you guys today. Hopefully maybe joining the team today. Man, I love it, bro. Thank you for being here. And I tell you what, you look around, this is probably the most diverse real estate team that is in the game right now. Really, I mean, uh, collectively, Kenny, how many languages does the team speak? Is it 13? I think like 13, 15 somewhere. 13, 15 languages that the company speaks. So uh, you're in good company, my man. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And Donna, um, you know, Donna's saving the world, helping families, you know, buy and sell real estate. And she's also attracting to the team. So welcome and thanks for being here. Who else do we have on the call today? 
Christina, why don't you introduce your mom, right? We only know her from social. Why don't we introduce mom? Because yeah, mom's going to be on the team too. Bye. <laughs> this is my mom. She's taking the test with me tomorrow. She actually pushed me into this and got me out of what I was doing. Um, and her name is Mal, and she's gonna be joining Team Fast too. Yes. All right. So you guys, let's do this. Obviously, we want you guys to drop your wins and 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 shout outs in the chat below. We also want you guys to put your Instagram handles, like Otis, if you're new to the room today, put your Instagram handle so we can all stay connected. But Let's go a step further today, you guys, since Christina's taking her test tomorrow with mom, what is the day before advice that you would give them? Um, go ahead and put that in. My advice to you guys, first off, take a day off today. I want you guys to, 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 to I know, I know that's just my advice. Take it or leave it, okay? My advice today is that you guys chill, that you guys relax, that you guys eat a good meal, that you guys get some actual sleep, Christina, because you are burning the candle at both ends. I get it. You guys want to succeed, but the amount of practicing that you're put, there's no way that you're going to miss 40 questions, right? I think about it this way. You can miss 40 questions and still pass the test, right? So my advice to you is relax, spend some time to just kind of decompress, go in there tomorrow and absolutely crush that test. So we're counting. Let's, go, let's give them, you guys, like some, some motivation, some excitement. And if you have any day before advice, please plug that in below. So Super, super stoked for you guys. It's gonna, you guys are gonna kill it. You guys. Um, any other guests on the line today? Elias, I have a guest on the line today. Okay, go ahead. I have Erin uh, Dang. Erin does not have her license. She hasn't, I don't even know if she signed up for the class yet, but we had a dinner on Friday, first time out, sushi, yes. And um, she actually invited me to come in to pick my brain about um, making a shift. So, Erin, where's your face? Good morning. Here's my oh, face. There you are. <laughs> so I know Erin from a coaching program that, we, that um, we've done in the past. And um, I'm excited. I'm giving her six months to get her license. I have it on the calendar. Erin, introduce it. yourself and... I love it. And I love that there's a commitment already with a deadline from run on. That's how we do it, Aaron. We believe in commitments, but we believe attaching that with the deadline because it makes it even more real. So this is great stuff. So Aaron, introduce yourself. Hello, Aaron. Thank you for that intro. And um, Brett, I, well, I mean, she said it were right? great. I, I currently work in tech and I'm exploring career shifts. And so thank you for inviting me here. And the whole commitment is in you know like six months and then also we're like we're going back to that sushi restaurant in six months <laughs> which, which restaurant did you guys go to dash sushi sam and san mateo okay all right cool if uh my suggestion for for uh san mateo would be dash uh but i'm a sushi fanatic and and any good sushi anywhere so welcome aaron do we have any other guests on the line today i have one um my guy brandon is on uh so basically my uh Mutual friend let me know he's thinking about getting into real estate. So I was like, definitely come tap in. He just passed his classes. He was taking them at the local community college. Let him know about Team Fast. So I wanted him to make sure he came see the full culture. Um, but yeah, go introduce yourself, Brandon. Hi, my name is Brandon. Um, I just finished up my real estate classes. Um, I'm trying to fill out the exam application and all that stuff and get my transcripts in so I can uh, prepare myself and take the test. And I really wanna kind of use this summer to kind of learn more, meet new people, see what the industry is about. I really wanna learn um, and be in a nice learning environment, which is um, what kind of Jeff was telling me about. So excited to meet you guys and up with you guys beautiful we'll have to have a car conversation because based on the collection behind you i take it that you're not only a hot wheel collector but you're also a car fanatic and we'll have that conversation <laughs> how your wall looks is how my son's room but i actually probably i know i didn't probably i did it for myself i collected tons and tons of cars that he can never open which <laughs> he knows that now <laughs> but anyways welcome 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 thanks for being here uh, any other guests on the line today all right, cool. Well, welcome. Once again, anybody that is prepping and preparing for their test, 
um, you've got this, you've studied hard enough that you know that you can pass this exam. Look around the room. A lot of us are not test takers, right? I don't consider myself a, a, a scholar by any right. I, I was not the best in school, but that test, you do enough studying, there's a big enough why, you'll, you'll pass it. So um, go out there, crush it, put all your hard work to play tomorrow. So um, good stuff, you guys. So we have some great announcements to talk about today. Um, let me pull up my slides really quick, you guys, and then we'll get right into this. So hang tight really quick and boom. All right, you guys, so we are gonna go to our teaching moments now. So I'm gonna turn it over to uh, our Oracle, you know her, you love her. Uh, Karina, let's go ahead and have you talk about our quick teaching moment. Yeah, hey everybody. Okay, so just a few reminders. The theme is planning ahead. It sounds basic, it sounds simple, but I'm noticing that a lot of people are kind of in reaction mode right now. So I just wanna take a minute to remind everyone, including myself, to take your headshots, get your headshots in. <laughs> Something that we run up against when we're trying to make marketing materials for you. Um, we can't go to print if we have a lower quality image. Kenny has generously agreed to pay for your headshot. So reach out to Molly if you have not already taken care of this. Um, again, myself included, I have an old ass headshot on here and <laughs> I really need to upgrade, but so, so do some of you. So I'm not gonna call you out, but please, please get this taken care of. Yeah, we really need it for the postcards. That's like, it might not seem like you guys need it right now, but when we send out those just listed postcards for you, or if you guys are saying just sold, you know, if you have a pixelated uh, or a low quality image, just straight really throws everything off. That's not some one that a potential seller will want to work with. They see something, if that's the level of marketing you, you hold yourself to, that that's the level of marketing you're holding, you're holding their house to. So, and it's free for you guys. I'm paying, I think it's like 250. So just go get your coupon code. Go to just go and take a, a new headshot. Okay. Yeah, if you guys don't have your code already, hit up Moly and she'll give you guys the code. But I mean, in the first two weeks, business cards and headshots, right? And as we move into the summer months, we were just talking about this. You guys are going to get busier. You're probably going to want to send out flyers and postcards and more correspondence to your clients. And so you need to have a really, really great looking uh, headshot. And any of the headshots that are taken by SRK, I've seen them. They just turn out really, really good. They're high quality photos. So um, highly recommend. And Lauren, to answer your question, um, you can use your own if you have it, but we use SRK. So it sounds like you know them. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> so yeah, basically plan ahead for your listing appointments, your offer preparation, scheduling appointments, responding to emails. We talk about time blocking, like setting aside time in the morning, afternoon, evening to respond to inquiries and do admin tasks rather than intermittently throughout your busy day because you can get derailed and distracted on things. So you can like get, get ahead of things as much as you can, including asking for help. So help with your open houses or wanting to do open houses, help from team members, help from me or other mentors. Like the more time we have to help you, the better your chance of getting the support that you need is. So um, yeah, plan ahead, please plan ahead. And then on this Friday, our afternoon general training was on Zoom. We'll be with Molly, at least part of it. Um, and she's gonna go over high note. And some of you know what that is and some of you don't, but um, Molly's the guru for that. And she's gonna give us a nice little tutorial of how to get started with high note, uh, three o'clock on Friday. Super, super excited. By a show of hands or a reaction, how many of you guys have never set up a high note or don't even know what a high note is at this stage? Okay, all right, cool. Um, you guys, it's going to be a game changer in the way that you put together presentations. And it's great from a data analytics side. Anytime you send something out to the client, you're gonna get a report of how many times they looked at it. Then you'll be able to really gauge their level of interest and in what they're looking at. So it is an absolute game changer. So make sure that you guys tune in on Friday. But while we're here and while Karina is speaking, uh, today actually is a very, very big day. And uh, so I would be remiss to not talk about her and not talk about this. So Karina, you made it. And like Kenny said, you are a very strong, strong woman. Uh, today marks four years that she has been working alongside Kenny and helping him run his then personal business, then team, now running a multi-million dollar company. So happy anniversary to you. To say I'm grateful for you and to say that this grateful, this team is grateful for you, uh, 
that that word really doesn't even do it justice. Like I don't even think I could put together a collection of words that can show how much we really, really appreciate you. So Karina, thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything that you've done for Kenny. And I know I'm the emotional one out of me and Kenny, but I'll turn it over to Kenny for a minute <laughs> for a brief thank you for all of your hard work. I mean, th thank Karina for keeping, you know, you're the hardest team, you're keeping everyone together. You know, I throw a lot of ideas out there and you'll, you'll shut a lot of them down. And I think that's what really has kept this company uh, growing in the right direction. Uh, so appreciate, you know, your, your, uh, your four years with us and many, many more to come. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad to be here. You all keep me, you know, like on my toes, trying to think ahead, trying to plan ahead so that I can follow my own advice and not just be reactive all the time. I've grown so much in this role. Um, I, I thank Kenny for trusting me to, to, you know, get started on building this team, which was not four years ago, but, but we started it, what, two? ish years ago Kenny now two and a half I yeah this this official team started <laughs> last last January yeah so it's been a wild ride to go from you know a handful of agents to what we're at like 135 somewhere in that range now like yeah I I never could have imagined when we got started that it was going to be this big which is why it's great working with Kenny because he's got the imagination so <laughs> I just it's been great being able to implement some of his his dreams and make it a reality. So thank you guys. So let's give Karina a giant, giant round of applause for everything that she does. That's right. We love you. We appreciate you. And uh, you know, thank you for being the glue that binds. Um, so let's go back into this, you guys. Let's talk about top producer dinner. Um, so you guys, last month we announced that every single month we're going to do a top producer dinner. Um, that's going to be the second week of the following month. So um, these numbers are for our May winners, and we're going to have a dinner. We said Monday the 14th at 5.30. We'll get that information out to everybody. Uh, Kenny, what is it for drum roll? What do I press again? D. E. I really like that feature, by the way. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into this, you guys, and let's go over the numbers. Um, all right, so here you go. For top producers for volume, um, Eric Kane came in at number one at 3.150. So Mr. Eric Kane, take yourself off the of mute, my man. Congratulations. <laughs> this is- Yo, <laughs> damn, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I had no idea, dude. I thought I was slacking, to be honest. So this, um, this is for closed volume, brother, for the month of May. So really, really great job. Damn, that's fucking sick, dude. Right on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been feeling kind of burnt out the last few days uh, or last few weeks, but I went on vacation. I'm back. And um, I mean, this is definitely fucking motivating as shit. Wow, that's insane. I had no idea. Um, but yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Good job, man. And so we will see you at Top Producer Dinner. That's going to be Monday the 14th at 5.30, um, location to be determined. So great job. Uh, ben oh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully somewhere very, very, very expensive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> come on, baby. Yeah. Shit. Top Producer, come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We won't be no slouches with the place that we take you guys to. So it's going to yeah. be a great environment. Uh, ben. Came in at number two for top volume. So, Ben, great job. 2.5. My man, you'd like to say something really quick? Cool. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all of your hard work and all your effort, my man, and being a mentor within the mentors of the company. And um, last but not least, top volume for last month was Miss Vivian. Just got back from vacation. Vivian, congratulations making top producer dinner. Would you like to say anything? Thanks. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, a laughter and a little bit of thanks. That's all we want. We're looking forward to breaking bread with you guys and celebrating your accomplishments. And like we said, you guys, this is first of many. We're going to do this every single month. So congratulations, Vivian, and welcome home. All right, now we said we're gonna do top three for volume and then top three for units. So let me get another drum roll. And that didn't work. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so we are going into, we have, oh, we have two, three, two. Oh, it should be Chris number one. All right, that's our, that's. All right, so we'll, we'll update this right now. So um, Chris was number one with his, no, it's the three is the amount of units. He had three units. Oh. Uh, total sure. volume. Yeah, I was confused for a minute when it's all two. Uh, came in with 1.243 in volume, three uh, units up in a market that is a lower price point market. So Chris, great job, way to kill it, brother. So you wanna talk on this? Yeah, no, thank you everybody. Um, I just wanna say I'm, I'm appreciative that this category exists because <laughs> when, uh, you know, when I joined the team, I was like, man, I, how am I gonna keep up with those guys? But uh, you know, seeing you guys do your thing every day is very, very inspiring. So appreciate it. Well, dude, really, really great job. Congratulations. And hopefully everything's going well at home with the new little baby. Um, Carmen, Carmen had two transactions. Total volume was over 2 million, 2 million, 222,500. Congratulations, Carmen. Carmen, would you like to say something to the public? Oh man, thank you. I did not see this coming. I'm kind of like thrown off a little bit like Eric. I'm super, super grateful for that. Thank you. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to, you know, celebrating your guys' wins. And then uh, last but not least, Kyle came in two units, um, uh, 2,185,000. So Mr. Kyle, would you like to speak on this for a moment? Yeah, man, just super stoked. Um, no. We're having tech. Okay, he's going to, he's going to switch chairs. We got to figure it out. Yeah, man. Super stoked and excited. This team has changed my whole look of, uh, you know, real estate around before I got on with this team, I was thinking about leaving the business and then, you know, got on with you guys and the trainings every single morning and then having everybody else in the office, just the atmosphere has boosted me to the next level. So just super grateful. And, uh, yeah, man, looking forward to some free food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, my man. And listen, you guys, the way that we did for top units, there was a lot of people that had two units. And so the way that we chose who was gonna to go to the top producer dinner was we just based it on volume. So uh, congrats to everybody that is gonna be at the dinner. We'll let you guys know exactly where we're gonna be. So uh, let's give um, our top producers for May a giant round of applause, you guys. Give them some reactions below, give them shout outs. Really, really great stuff. Appreciate all your guys' efforts. All right, let's get right into productivity and escrows from last week. So. As always, for the guests on the line today, we have a program called CISU, which is an accountability for individuals so they can track their productivity behind the scenes. Um, this category is hours working on your business. Uh, Ms. Cynthia came in at number one. So great job, Cynthia. Right behind her was Raymond Rosales at number two. Jan and Ronnie came in at number three, relatively new to the team. in your eye. Um, I don't have anything in my eye, but if you could put yourself on mute, that would be, thank you. No, I'm just messing. And then we have Michael the Savage coming in at number four. So really, really good job. Now, hours working in your business. This is income producing activities and run on. First off, run on if you can, make sure to post your, or put your picture on Sisu so your name is always in lights, but came in at number one. Great job. Right behind her was Cynthia. Kevin Magna came in at number three. Jack Stegner, there's probably not been a week over the last seven weeks that he has not made the leaderboard, came in at number four. And Sunny Wong came in at number five for hours working in your business. So great job. Let's go to buyer showings. And you know, huge shout out to you, Sunny. I know that you've been helping out so many team members. You've helped out Jen and I, you're helping out Donna, you're helping out Viv. You're just out there hustling and seeing tons of homes, my man. And this is really how you're going to drive your business and catapult your business. So Great job making number one right behind him. Kevin Magna coming in at number two. Lynn and Weston coming in at number three. And once again, run on coming in at number four. So great job, you guys, for, you know, posting your stats and doing all the hard work behind the scenes, because these are the things that are going to equate to your future escrow. So let's give everybody a giant round of applause for making the CC leaderboard. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right, guys, let's go on to new escrows for the week. All right, excited. We have some, we had a huge week and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, Angela Rose, she's not on the call today. She had an appointment, but Angela, one clap for her, $430,000. Great job. 
Um, Angelica and Joaquin got into contract this last week. Um, do one of you guys want to speak about this contract? Yeah, is Joaquin, are you on? I was hoping he'd be in the office with me with us today. He probably showing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. so you, you take it away. I, I don't right. see him on. So I will say I that I give most of the credit to him on this one. So this was a Redfin lead that came in. I reached out to Joaquin because I was double booked. And he was able to take these guys out on their first showing. And, you know, he kept in touch with them over the course of what, like a couple of months, I think. So because of him, we were able to get him into contract and we got uh, all cash offer accepted literally within 15 minutes. Was it? I left the office, mm -hmm. called Joaquin, like literally 10, 15 minutes later, fastest response that we've ever had. So nice. Great yeah. job, you guys. Listen, it's all Angelica. She's being uh, too nice. It was all oh. Angelica. Uh, go, go ahead, Joaquin. Let's hear from you, brother. Uh, she said it all, man. Uh, it was great working with her, and uh, I'm just happy for the buyers. So always humble, man. I love it. I love it. You guys, let's talk about this for a quick second. So um, let's talk about the, the the power of partnerships within this company. Um, a lot of you have came from other environments where partnerships wasn't really something that was uh, promoted. It wasn't something that was encouraged amongst the team members. Um, last week alone, we put up $4.3 million in partnership deals. So I personally have partnered with a few of you. I partner with Jen, obviously, but I highly encourage you guys to leverage the team and partner because um, you guys have two different viewpoints, two different opinions, two different insights, two different market uh, you know, knowledge or bank of knock market knowledge. So Highly, highly recommend that you guys partner as much as you can. So great job to you guys. Uh, let's go over to Gurpreet. Gurpreet got in the contract for 475000 Gurpreet, let's talk about this deal. Happy birthday, Gurpreet, too. Oh, thank you, guys. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> happy, uh, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, this client, I um, they found me through Redfin. We've been shopping around for two or three months. This one was a pretty difficult one. We lost out on uh, three different offers. A client was basically unrealistic with what the market was doing. So it was pretty tough, um, but we did it. Uh, this property uh, fell out of contract with the previous buyers and we jumped right on it. I built, built rapport with the listing agent, uh, got all the insight. I hammered her, hammered her, hammered her until I got what I wanted and we wrote an offer. Um, and it looks like Rosa may have written an offer on this, this property too. So we were, uh, she, uh, Instagram, she texted me. So, um, so we were competing. I didn't know that until after we got into contract, but, um, but yeah, so I'm thankful. I'm super excited for this client. They're uh, picky. We're having inspections done. So I'm super excited for them. Well, congratulations. And as a birthday present for you, Kenny and I wanted to do something really special for you. We wanted to, we wanted to pay for you to get a professional headshot, a new one. Uh, so we're going to give you a code and it's worth $250 for you to go into San Francisco and have a day of glam on us. So happy birthday. Highly recommend that you schedule that within the next week. All right. Thank you, Elias. I think you guys just like that picture. <laughs> no, we, we searched. We wanted to make sure to put a you know good picture of you up. So uh, get your headshot done. But congratulations on this success and all the success that you've had this year. Thanks so um, much. Let's go over to Angelica again. Angelica had another deal, $580,000. Let's turn the mic back over to you, Angelica. Thank you. Thank you. So this was actually a listing. Um, I wasn't sure how, you know, we were going to be because of how outdated the house is. But to my surprise, we still got multiple offers. I think we ended up with nine and went 60,000 over asking, which I'm like, wow. And I think it's because of the pool. But you know, it's Antioch mm -hmm. and it's totally 70s. It's got orange, orange linoleum. Okay. <laughs> but no, um, my, my client's super happy. So Beautiful. Well, congratulations. Great job. Tons of success that you've had this year. So um, awesome. Hats off to you. Uh, let's go over to Jack Stegner. Jack Stegner got in contract for $585,000. Now, this is a milestone, not only uh, this is, a, excuse me, this is a milestone for you, Jack. And I, I want to talk about this for a minute. Let's talk about self-limiting beliefs. 
right? Jack set a goal for himself for the entire year of four transactions. We all knew, like, wait a minute. When we heard that, when his squad leader heard it, when his squad heard it, when I heard it, like, Jack, like, bro, you have way more talent to set your bar so low. So this is actually his fifth deal. So he broke over that personal barrier, has tons in the pipe. So Jack, my man, talk a little bit about this transaction because I'm super happy for you. Yeah, thank you, Elias. Yeah, no, I mean, I've just been working with this, uh, John referred me to these clients back in February. And so uh, we just got into contract last week and they were super excited. And, you know, I'm just on to the next one now. That's about it. Bro, oh, and so what changed? Because you had a belief that four was going to be your goal. Tell us why you changed that and how you changed that. Uh, well, honestly, it was pressure from you and Kate. That's why. Uh, but yeah, it was that. And I, I don't know, just uh, March was really, March and April were a really good month. And then kind of slumped a little bit at the end for May, but then I just kind of came back into it. And so, yeah, now my new goal is uh, 12 for the year. And so hopefully I'm running off for this week. So hopefully it should be good, get it in and I'll be happy wait, there. Wait, wait, for the people in the back of the room that didn't hear you, what is the goal for this year? Uh, 12. That's my goal, new goal. Right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's make sure to remind Jack of how awesome he is. Watch, he's going to hit 15 for the year. So and, and real quick, Jack's making it sound way too easy. These buyers were, I mean, they were super nice people, but they weren't at an easy price point in this market. They wanted to see stuff multiple times a week. I mean, they, they Jack really did a good job kind of coaching them up, negotiating offers for him. So uh, he made it sound easy, but he, he's been working on these for a long time. And I don't even know how many properties it showed him. So good job, Jack. And thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Great job, big dog. Um, Mark is not on the line today. Let's give him one clap. But Mark has been on a consistent, consistent train lately. And so great job to you, Mark. Uh, we're going to go over to Christina Pineda. Uh, Christina, uh, let's talk about this, 605000 Let's give you the mic for a second. Okay, so this is my listing in Antioch. We literally put it on on a Thursday. Offers were due Tuesday, and that's how quick it happened. It's a sweet spot, so it was listed at 549, so they came in at 605, and that is it, and I have a new one coming on tomorrow in Bay Point, if anyone's interested. Woo! Uh, great job, Christina. Her, her business is just taking off, and uh, man, I was showing homes out in Antioch. For the people that are showing homes out there, it is hot, hot, hot temperature wise and market wise so uh great job looking forward to seeing the new draft um so we'll we'll look for that in slack um herson herson got into contract this past week my man are you on today can you talk about this Six hundred thirty thousand. actually herson's not on so we're going to keep moving on but when you see him give him a shout out make sure that you post this on social uh let's go over to terry terry um six hundred seventy five thousand dollars let's talk about this deal going once, going twice. All right, we're gonna move on. Terry is on, but she might be busy, so we're gonna move on. Um, let's go over to Rosa. So Ben and uh, Julie had a listing, Rosa wrote on it, got in the contract for $750,000. Rosa, let's have you talk about this transaction. All right, cool. We're going to keep moving on, you guys. We want to make sure that we keep the momentum going. Um, Sorry, I'm right here. Oh, you are? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, Rosa, let's talk a little bit about this deal. Um, well, Ben partnered up with me. Um, he had that listing with Julie, and he also had a client that we had been working with. And so we just worked it together, and that's the beauty of being on Team Fast. They, there's a lot of collaboration, so more more. Just a lot of opportunities for everyone to be part of. So I'm really happy about that. Awesome. Rosa, really great stuff. Your business has taken off as well. So great stuff to all three of you guys. Congratulations. Uh, let's go over to Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson got on the board once again, um, you know, running a really successful business, helping out in our mentorship program that we're going to be releasing and also a squad leader. So uh, Kate, let's talk about this transaction for 775 All right, cool. We're going to move on, but great job, Kate. Um, let's go over to Miles. Miles Tillman, let's talk about this deal, 836000 Yeah, so it's a fixer property in Oakland. It's currently a single family. It came with approved plans to turn it into a two-unit. 
And we're also planning to build another two to four unit on the big ass lot as well to utilize the space. Love it. I love it. So Miles, how's your year going this year compared to last year? How's, how's, Man, how's your business? It doesn't even compare. I was talking to Jeff about that the other day. Like, so I just speak feel on that. I want, I, want to, I want to hear about it, man. Give some people some stats and some figures. Uh, man, I mean, I've worked with fixers before in the past, but just not at this pace, at this rapid pace. So I'm still kind of adjusting to that. I appreciate everybody. Elias, thank you. Kenny, John, Karina. I feel like you guys have just really been the glue to just really catapult it. I'm just trying to ride the wave. Just keep going. Dude, you're doing a great job, man, and showing in your production. Um, so good to see your face on here. Congratulations on this deal. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. Let's go over to Juanita. So Juanita, I, I I think, and I have to look back, but Juanita's not on. This may be one of her largest transactions that she's ever got, 903000 Um, She is absolutely killing it right now. So when you see Juanita, give her a shout out. Make sure you tag her on social. Uh, but coming back to you, Carmen. What do you mean when you don't see me? I'm here. Because you know why? Because I'm searching for, uh, because I search for participants because I'm on the screen and I search for Juanita. So I got to search for Jess Sandoval. Uh, I have to change that. I change no. that because that helps me because that's the way I keep the pace. But let me turn it over <laughs> to you. 903,000. Take it away. Talk about this. No, this is my first flex deal. So I'm very, very proud of it. Very, very happy. And I got this um, lead within the first week I joined uh, the flex team. So I'm really, really happy for them. We wrote one offer and this was the second one and it was accepted. Uh -huh. And Karina, thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. You helped me a lot on this deal. So, so Juanita, what is the biggest uh, deal that you've ever had price point? This one, 903. Yes, you guys, yes, look at that. I mean, first week of being in flex, did what she did, ran the offense, got herself in a contract. So really, oh, you changed the name. Great job, congratulations. Uh, we have seen nothing but growth and continued growth from you. So uh, really, really great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, let's go over to Carmen. Carmen got in the contract, another million dollar deal. Let's hear from you, Carmen. You're muted, Boomer. All right, is can it you hear me now? Or is it for service? That's probably for service. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Dewey. <laughs> Take it away, Carmen. Ah, oh, gosh. Uh, good morning, everybody. Super excited. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just glad to be on the board. I'm trying to get on there at least every week. So I've been, I've been good at that so far. So yeah, I got kids to feed. Let's get it. Ah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Good stuff. And um, I will be releasing the winners of the uh, squads this evening to the squads. And so they're going to let you guys know. Um, it's been a tight race over the last couple of weeks, but uh, a really great job um, on your own personal production, but great job, um, you know, being a squad leader as well. Let's go over to Kathy Daniel. I don't think she's on the call today. She had an emergency in Michigan. Oh, she's actually nope. on. So Kathy, let's talk about this deal. Um, this one was lots of fun. Uh, we, he started off telling me he wanted uh, three bedrooms, two bath, big yard. We started in Santa Rosa, Petaluma, you name it, Sonoma, all of that. We wound up buying in San Francisco, outer Richmond, 800 square feet, no yard. But it's what he wanted. Beautiful. Well, really, really great job. And are you, are you going to Michigan or no? No, the property faces the wrong way on the lake. So it has to be on the other side of the lake for me to head out that fast. Okay. All right, cool. Congratulations to you. Uh, let's you. head over to bet on Bowie. Kevin Bowie got in the contract for a million fifty. So, my man, let's talk a little bit about this transaction. Yeah. So uh, this one was interesting. It's it was for my cousins. We've been working together for over two years now, and they're so flippy floppy. It's so hard to work with family, man. But uh, I have to give a huge shout out to Angela Rose. She helped me out. I double booked myself, and she showed a home. Just gonna get a little bonus, but uh, yeah, stoked. Awesome, brother. Awesome, man. Really good job. Congratulations. Uh, let's head over to Christina and Jung Hee. Jung Hee, I'll have you talk about this transaction. One point five to five. I mean, look at all these million dollar plus deals in this last week. This is incredible. So, Jung Hee, let's have you talk about this deal. <clears throat> good morning. Um, good morning. 
We'll see. These guys are um, a referral from my sister. They're investors. It's a fourplex in Berkeley. Um, Christina, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say really. It, they're pretty um, hard clients to work with. They're also very flip floppy. So we'll see if this one closes. One of the yes, it will. <laughs> Right, we're we're putting out a good good juju out into the universe. Like this is yes, going yes, to yes, yes. We need close. this to close. Thank you. All right. Well, hey, you guys, really great job. Amazing price point. Love it. Love it. Um, let's go on. We got some more million dollar deals to talk about. Um, so another deal that Jung Hee was on um, and run on for one point six million. I'll run on. I'm gonna have you talk about this deal. What what? What what? One point six what? <laughs> All right, so Ooh. this is a Zillow Flex, and I was camping with my family, and I was like, hey, Jung Hee, these, these clients need to see some homes, and I'm still camping, and um, she went to show them a property, and they didn't, we didn't go forward with it, but I'm like, okay, you know what? Stay on with, here with me. We went to see a new development, and I'm so happy that both of us were there because we literally were feeding off of each other's energy, and if she was not there, I'm not sure that we would have we would have done what we did. Um, literally, we went to see, uh, I misscheduled a property. Like we went, we were supposed to go see another development, but we scheduled to see this one. And we're like, oh, let's just go see it anyway. And then we went to see the other one. Like, you know, she was calling, I was calling like, let's go see, we have to go see today. And after we saw it, they're like, no, we like the wrong one that you scheduled us for. Let's go back over there. Jung Hee and I went back over there, talked to the salesperson and we're like, we need to take this one off. Do not show it anymore. They want it. Tell us what we need to do. We got everything. Jung Hee wrote a check to like, okay, secure it. Let's go. Um, and it took us a while, but we got into contract. So thank you, Jung Hee. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. awesome working with you. You're great. Love it. Awesome. And now Jung Hee, this is, or uh, run on, this is your second largest deal, right? You had a 1.8 before. This is your second. Yeah, baby. Incredible. Great job, ladies, and great partnership. Um, going, still continuing on this million dollar plus train, Mr. Jason Ellis uh, got in the contract for 1.710. So, Jason, take it away, my man. Let's talk about this. Thanks, Elias. Uh, two months of prep work on this listing. Uh, yeah, two months to prep, six days depends. Um, super stoked. So, so, so I love the brevity and I appreciate the brevity. However, this was this was really like a, a Picasso for you, right? This was a masterpiece for you. You had talked about it, you had boasted about it. So let's talk about that process, bro, because I know that you put so much work and effort and time and energy to prep this. And this was really like, one of your, your your shiny moments with your listings. And so let's talk about that, man. I think that you, you earned that right. Um, yeah, thanks, Elias. Um, my clients, they were moving down to LA. They had four kids. They're coming off, we're all coming off pandemic. The house was smoked. Uh, they basically threw me the keys and said, hey, can you handle this for us? And I was like, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, it started from, you know, junk hauling, you know, a couple thousand dollars in junk hauling. Um, and then, you know, we did, we did a lot without going too far uh, into the updates. So it was a lot of cosmetic stuff um, from full paint to new hardwood floors, new carpeting, great staging, uh, new fixtures. And uh, yeah, it worked out really well, man. Dude, really, really great job. Thank man. you. Congratulations. Hey, a lot, uh, Jason, can you tell us how you met that client, please? I met that client uh, at a lowrider show, surprisingly enough. Thank you, Dewey. So. Uh, make sure you put your uh, make sure you put your interests on your IG because uh, you'd be surprised to see who uh, crosses paths with you. Totally. And you guys, speaking of IG, if you haven't seen Jason's new video that dropped last week in his car doing his interview about his uh, his his you know his his journey, it's a really cool video. So so give it a look. Uh, now, uh, you're oh. fired. Say again. That video was fired. Yeah, it turned out really, really well. I think on my my page, I think I have like 550 views of that of that video, man. So really good stuff. Um, now going back to Jung Hee, 1.8 million dollar Jung Hee, go off, girl, because you had an incredible week. We're gonna talk about this in just a moment, but another deal for 1.8 million dollars, Jung Hee, take it away. Let's talk about this. 
Yeah, it's been a very stressful week, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, uh, so this was an off-market deal that was kind of like the perfect situation for the clients. Um, they were actually ones to bring us the off-market because their best friends are the neighbors of the house that was selling, right? It was, I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, you know, it was really about selling this um this fantasy about, you know, having their kids share a yard and, you know, just have that magical, you know, childhood experience. And so um, the sellers didn't really want to sell, but we, you know, wrote a very aggressive um, offer and, you know, something that was just too good to, to pass up. So really happy for them. Um, they've been getting their ass beat in Berkeley. So it's so hard in Berkeley right now. Yeah. I mean, Incredible. I mean, great job. We're going to come back to you in just a minute, but what an incredible week that you had. Um, you guys, I, I want to share this with you. And, and this is obviously something that we put up every single week, but I want you to really look at what this team is accomplishing. Uh, we talk about it all the time, you guys, but look at what we have in pending escrows right now. We have over $81 million in pending escrows and 114 sides. These types of numbers, and I say it all the time, you guys, this is, this is nothing short of amazing. What you guys are accomplishing week in and week out, you did 23 escrows last week and $20 million in production. When we have a week that's $10 million, we feel like, oh my God, that's a slow week for us. You guys did $20 million in volume just last week alone. So Kenny, I know you wanted to talk about this, you guys. Um, let, let's uh, let's turn it over to Kenny for a quick moment, man, because this is absolutely incredible. Yeah, we, we broke <clears throat> we broke like 75 million for first time last week and it was kind of floating around 83, but it's just, I mean, it's just insane growth. We, you know, we're, we onboarded about a little over 25 agents this month that puts us at 135. So, you know, we were going really fast, but now it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep up. Uh, but this is really cool. You know, I think I think many people are starting to see what we're doing out there. A lot of solo independent ESP agents are now coming to the team because we do provide a lot of value, support, training, coaching, leads, and you know, the culture itself and offices are just really setting us apart. Um, so this, I mean, it'd be cool to see this at 100 million, I think within the next month and a half, a month. Uh, I, I heard somebody that chose not to join our team and that's their prerogative. They're like, Oh, well, you know, we just kind of see it as, as, as it's all hype. Well, all hype is just words, right? And it's just like, oh, our team is this and it's our, our team is that. We are a lot of hype. We're a lot of excitement. We're a lot of energy. We're a lot of passion. But we're backing that shit up with solid production, right? We're, we're, we're changing the game in the Bay Area because of what you guys are producing every single week. So these numbers is because you guys are putting up so much or, or producing so much uh, work behind the scenes that's resulting in these types of numbers. This shit just doesn't come haphazardly. You guys are working, tirelessly working to produce results for you and your family and it's showing. So uh, from- One big thing is consistency help. too. Our agents are consistent. You know, you, you are, I mean, here's a fun script where you guys are talking to other agents out there, you know, just ask them, you know, hey, you know, your goals for the year you set, because you literally like, anything you went pending on prior to June 1st right now with 30 day escrow, that's half the year. So if you didn't already accomplish your half year goal by now, it's going to be extremely difficult towards, you know, in the November and December and summer. So just ask people out there, you know, what, what is it that their company is offering and, and are they on pace to achieve what they had hoped to at the beginning of the year? Cause we are exceeding. I mean, we, I set the goal for 400 million late last year. They went to 500, 600. Now we're, I think 600 is the comfortable number. But we're we're probably pacing for at least 1.6 billion next year, which is you know it's it's a, just a monster of a company. We've been able to build in at least in Oakland. For you guys in Oakland, like a Grub company or Red Oak has done about a billion sales. It took them almost 40 years to build these companies, and we've been able to accomplish that like in uh, literally two years. Um, and this is just just the beginning, you know. And then everyone's getting a piece of the pie too. As, as we're growing more, you, just more resources for you guys to leverage, and you know, invite your friends over here. Yeah, you guys, this is uh. This is this type of growth is unprecedented, and, and so we appreciate you guys and appreciate all of your hard work. Um, let's do another quick little drum roll. I guess you can only do one drum roll through per session, but we'd be remiss not to make Jung Hee the fast story of the week. Jung Hee set a company record with the most volume in one week by a single agent. She posted 4.9 million 25,000 in one week. So Jung Hee, 
Congratulations, you guys. Let's give Jung Hee a giant round of applause. Breaking company <laughs> Blowing that shit off. So Jung Hee, once again, go off because you deserve it. This is incredible to be able to share. So let's hear from you, girl. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm also just kind of don't know what to say. It's awesome. I'm really excited. Um, it makes, it's exciting to have some like bigger price point deals closing. Um, and that's like my goal to just like be more luxury and just have be a baller. So I'm getting there and I'm proud. So, you know, boss bitch is happening. I'm, I'm making it reach over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really great job. You guys, Hey, some people will do 5 million in a year. That's a good year, right? If you're just starting out and growing your business and you know, average price point 750,000, like that's you working. I mean, for her to do this in one week, it's crazy, but it's also- Our Partnerships too, right? So yeah. we're working with Christina, working with Renan and the, the, the third deal, the the one, I mean, Jung, I think Jung, he did an amazing job there. My past clients, I've helped them with a couple of transactions, uh, but they were, they, they were shopping in San Francisco and then I was doing a couple of tours. I'm only working on two buyers this whole year and that's one of them. I'm really glad they're in contract. And we went to Berkeley, but Jung, he just took it by the reins, started building rapport with a listing agent. We went out shopping. She booked all the showings. I, I showed up for the showings, but- you know, just an amazing job better than I, I could have done with uh, the clients. But, you know, you have a number like that in one week, it's because you're leveraging time and people and just being smart about your business. Yeah, you guys, I mean, leverage partnerships and, and um, God, nothing but but respect for you, Jung Hee. This is an incredible, incredible week. So um, now you guys know what the record is for the company. So now someone has to come out of the gates and do 5 million for the week. So uh, way to set the bar. Appreciate you, Jung Hee, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, as always, um, you know, here's our calendar. We want to once again remind you that we're doing high note training um, for our general training this Friday um, in Kenny's room. So Kenny, you want to talk, uh, do a quick update on the- Yeah, Dallas, um, <clears throat> Dallas is good. Uh, we have this many people going. Um, and then and then for, for some of you newer agents, if you know, if you don't think you can afford to go, just DM me and you really, really want to go, we can make something happen for you guys. Maybe credit you back in the first escrow because this is a kind of once in a lifetime event for to get Tony Robbins out there. And this is probably one of the biggest events in ESP history uh, that are held by agents. So uh, many, many of you guys have uh, brought guests, which is awesome. I, I, I personally went and got my rooms. I, I have 30 guests coming that I brought. I am personally coming and paying for because I see the power, power of these events. Uh, you know, again, if you guys are new to this call, if you're an agent on our team, I am personally paying for the hotel rooms uh, for yourself and in your guests. Um, but all the tickets are sold out right now except gold. So to, 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 attend, to, uh, to attend this event is 600 bucks now for some really good tickets. Um, and yeah, so let me know if you guys are interested in going. Thanks. I, I <clears> truly <throat> believe that this is going to change your life. Um, you know, we'll, we'll improve your personal life, improve your professional life. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all there. And my hopes is that we're the biggest represented team out there and um, in, in true fast form. So looking forward to this event, you guys. Um, obviously, Ken, you want to talk about this one too? This one, I, I don't know too much about it, but this is ESP's official event. I heard way, way back that maybe the content wasn't as great, but now uh, they've really upped their game, getting out, outside speakers, not just real estate speakers, but just great keynote speakers. Uh, this is held in Vegas. It's going to be at the Mirage. So it's really pretty cheap to go out there. Um, I think tickets will be about $300 for the conference. And you're also encouraged to bring a guest. I will also be paying for your hotel rooms. Awesome. Awesome. Great stuff, you guys. Here's some of the rooms. Um, no big updates with the offices. Um, I know that we're still pushing Hercules out a little bit. Um, any timeline on that, Kenny? Still negotiate. It's under all, all the Hercules and Hayward's one are under attorney review right now. Uh, so we're, we're, I mean, we're, it's, it's just waiting for that. It's really going to be finalized. The fast house got delayed construction. It's going to be done in August, um, June, June, I need to check in on, Wait, uh, on. in talking about fast mm -hmm. house, uh, they're painting the whole, uh, our side, like Watling or the whole Watling street on our side of the new development. It's all getting painted red today. Wow. wow. Nice. nice. What do you mean? Nice. There's no more parking. Oh, 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 uh, nice down the road for, <laughs> for a look. <laughs> nice red. <right? laughs> um, Brent, Brent was, I mean, Brent was up and running uh, New York agency. You guys need to go out there. Just let us know. We'll give you access. Co-working space is just going to be one single office in Concord. 
And, um, and then the Oakland, if you guys are using the Oakland office, um, our room, the one directly across from it where the attorney used to be, we, I, I just picked up that one too. So if you're in Oakland office, you can literally cross the hall right now and use that one too. Um, and then very early stages where we're, we're now looking to try Valley. I'm probably gonna have my commercial agent reach out to other commercial agents in the area, see if we can take over a sublease to kind of dip our feet in that market. We don't quite have that many agents in the market, so it doesn't really make sense to commit to something large like these other hubs. So I think we'll start small in Tri-Valley, maybe Pleasanton, maybe Livermore, maybe San Ramon, and try to take over an existing space and then kind of grow into that uh, location. And then um, next phase, I've talked about this many times, towards the end of the year, we're, we're going to really start uh, looking uh, very strongly and closely at San Jose, Peninsula, and San Francisco. Yeah, don't next be surprised slide. if we have an office on Santana Row. Like, don't be surprised if that happens down the road, you guys. Um, we have a big announcement. We're going to send it out now because we're just in the preparation stages, but we're going to do our first annual uh, fast real estate company uh, picnic, uh, fun for the kids, for the families. We're going to do a giant event on July 22nd from one to five. We'll put the flyer out and all the details. Um, you guys that are a part of the company, you guys are invited to come. We'll put some information out. We'll have some food trucks. We'll have some fun. It's just going to be a great event and it's just going to be for us. And so, it's for us. Gonna, yep, we're going to do some community or excuse me, industry events, uh, obviously moving forward, but this is going to be the first time we're going to be able to bring everyone together. It'll be outdoors. It'll be fun, tons of food. So uh, we're looking forward to that. So be on the lookout for the flyer. So you guys, before we head out and before we wrap up, I want you guys to put into the chat. What are your goals from today until August 31st? Summertime is upon us. It is going to be our busy season. You have the opportunity to really clean up. And I always say this, your summer months are gonna dictate how your winter months are gonna go. It's gonna dictate how much of a great holiday season you're gonna be able to have for you and for your family. So uh, if you guys can go ahead and put in the chat by August 31st from today until August 31st, what are your goals that you have for the summertime? So I'm going to start reading some of these off. Uh, Patrick says he's going to be in five escrows. Love that. Um, Eric says eight escrows. Donna says five plus. Eric changed his and says actually 10. Uh, Vivian says eight. Panisse says helping three families buy a house and one listing. Kathy Daniel said five escrows. Kevin Bowie said five escrows. Cool, you guys. Pass my test. Get on a Zillow Flex. Learn as much as possible from top producers and one escrow. Love it. Good stuff. <laughs> Nine escrows from Demian, three from Kelly, six escrows from Joaquin, uh, Master Zilla Flex training from Michan. Uh, let's see here. Let me slow myself down. Uh, we have seven escrows from Gurpreet. Uh, Martinique, turn 35, quit the feds, and 10 deals. I love it. Uh, Jonathan says, get in the contract on something before Hawaii. Uh, Maria says, nine escrows. Nice. I love this. Nine escrows where to go. Um, nine escrows up that social media life. All right. Dina says three. Joey says two. Cynthia says eight escrows by 831, five partnering deals. I love it. I love that's part of your goal. Uh, Steffi says five escrows. Um, solid pipeline. Couple of deals from Darren. Amy Imhoff says get on Zillow. Redfin, five escrows and one million each. Love it. Um, five escrows attending 830 calls again and just staying tapped in with the team for the rest of the year from Samantha Spencer. Love it. Lauren says, finally have my license process. Um, come on, DRE, learn all the things, three escrows. Jay says, get on a Zilla Flex and help five families. Ernesto says, eight escrows, crushing it on YouTube. Love it, my brother. Christina says 15 escrows and five agent attractions. Mass team involvement from Kathy Daniel. You guys, I am loving it. If you do not have a summer goal, I want you guys to really look at where you at right now in your business and say, what do I want to accomplish for the next three? And what am I committed to accomplishing, right? I have a, a productivity multiplier. I want to make sure that you guys have that. I'll post that in Slack with how you break down that worksheet because it's a really, really... A uh, great way to break down what your goals are, really reshape your vision, and then look at what your micro commitments are every single day in order to reach what your goal is, you guys. So 
Really great stuff from everybody today. Congratulations to everybody that made the leaderboard. Congratulations to our top producers. Uh, Freddie, I don't know if you've been to our meeting, my brother, but someone that's a guest here, bro, what were some of your takeaways from today's meeting? Um, besides taking too long to join Team Fast. <laughs> Fuck, man. It took you um, long enough. I love everything. <laughs> long Who enough. are you? What's up? I'm right here. What's up, my brother? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love everything I see, man. I, I think I'm taking too long to join you guys. Uh, I want to be part of this. I, I told Kenny, I told uh, Dewey back in the days, um, this is a place to be. I just took too long to, be, to, to get here. <laughs> You, you okay, can't man. have referring agents over to us, too. Right? Again? You've been referring you agents over to us. Great people to us. Yep. That's right, man. Well, it's not how you start, right? It's how you finish. So we appreciate where you are. And, and you know, thanks for even considering us. And we're looking forward to supporting your journey. So you guys, um, what an amazing week. Uh, for, for all of you guys. And if you're not on the board, it's okay because we know you're working your ass off and you will get on the board. So thank you. And um, before we head out, um, I don't know if we announced this on the giant group meeting, but we'd like to give uh, Cynthia Peterson a giant round of applause. She is now officially our, um, our seventh squad leader. So let's give Cynthia a round of applause. Uh, big stuff to come from her. She's excited. She's ready to go. She's going to be a huge part of the growth of that program and beyond. So congratulations, Cynthia. And it just goes to show what's possible in this environment. Look at all the squad leaders that we have now that weren't in leadership roles, now have grown. They're going into their fourth month of being squad leaders. We added Cynthia. We're rolling out mentors. We're rolling out Teachable. So there's tons of things as this company grows, you guys. If you want to get involved, we hear you, right? Like Kenny and I have ideas and growth ideas, but we want to listen to you. We want to know what your guys' thoughts are, ideas. So feel free to always come to us. No judgment. It's an open environment. If you're wanting to grow with this company, if you have cool ideas, come to us because um, I think that's the power of our environment and our culture. So once again, thank you guys for everything that we represent. One more time, Christina, mom, go and crush that uh, that test tomorrow. You guys got this. We know how hard you've been studying and training. So uh, you got it. You guys are amazing, by the way. Very like, empowering. Oh, well, 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 thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, it's them, right? It's the collective. That's what makes this company is that everyone has a voice and everyone feels like they, um, you know, are put on spotlight and rewarded for all of their hard work. So uh, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, putting your guys' name in lights too. So yes. get Thank out there. I would say good luck, but I don't really believe in luck. It's all about preparation. We create our own. Thank you, you guys. All right, good luck. Guys. <laughs> get out there. Yes. Trust you guys. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.